I didn't realize how high up I would have to be holding this camera in order to get my head in shot. I, for some reason in my mind, I thought I could hold it like down here, but uh, yeah, that's, it's not gonna work. Uh, <laughs> I should work on finding like some sort of a stick. Uh, I have this tripod here. I could use, I could use this. Hold on, let, let me try that out. A few moments later. Okay, so that's, that's, that's a very weird solution, but I'm, uh, right now I'm holding my tripod in the most collapsed form possible. And, uh, it's a little bit heavy, but, uh, hey, it means I don't have to hold my arm way up here. So, uh, anyway, um, this is, uh, first day, first day of vlog every day in November. And I'm gonna be doing this for 30 days in the month of November. I have allergies, so I'll, I'll be, uh, I'll be sniffing and coughing for a lot of these first few videos. <clears throat> yeah, I have, I have allergies right now. Um, so, um, what am I doing? Why am I doing this? Well, um, it's been a while. It's been a while. Hasn't it been a while since I've talk to you uh it was like uh two and a half months ago i think when i made my last video uh it was called my tv show pitch um and you might be wondering like what what's he doing well trust me i have been working on stuff i i have been this whole time working on a bunch of stuff so uh uh, I haven't been, uh, I haven't been lazy. I've actually been doing stuff. Um, and you should see that stuff coming pretty soon. So, uh, the next thing that you're going to see, the next big thing that you're going to see from me is a video that I've been teasing forever. I've been teasing for, like, ever since August. This video about, uh, James Rolfe and the Cinemassacre Truth subreddit. And that's going to be a long one, and um, I'm almost done with it. I'm almost done with the edit. I've been editing it uh, on and off because I, I, something that happens to me is if I'm working on a video for long enough and it's not a video that tremendously inspires me, I'll kind of grow to resent it, and I'll stop working on it for a while, and that's what happened with this one. It was, you know, I think I stopped working on it for like a month, and... Uh, but it's almost done and I'm, I'm back to working on it. And so I have like maybe an hour of editing left to do on it and then I'll be able to upload it and that'll be fun. Um, and then in addition to that one, which I am uh, editing the video of, I was writing another video and I finished writing it um, and that should be the next one that I do. As soon as I'm done with the editing of the Cinemassacre Truth video, I'm going to start writing, uh, sorry, I'm going to start recording, recording the video that I just finished writing. And it was, it's, uh, another, another video about fascism. Now, you know that I made a video about fascism back in, uh, last year, 2022, a little over a year ago. And I, it was like an hour and a half, hour 45 minute video. I said a lot of stuff. You might think like, is that it? Isn't that it? I thought, I mean, he covered pretty much everything there is to cover, didn't he? Didn't he? I, he couldn't cover all of his thoughts in an hour and 45. Well, no, apparently not. Um, because I've been doing a lot of, I've actually been uh, kind of in a renaissance period of my interest in fascism. I've been reading a lot more about it lately, reading books. Um, I, I recently finished a book by Julius Evola called Fascism Viewed from the Right that I thought was really good. And I've been very inspired by the topic. And I have a lot more thoughts on it than I did last year. I have a lot of thoughts on the subject of fascism. And so I'm very excited because uh, I, wrote, I wrote them down. And I think that video... The script is really good. I think it's going to be a great video. It's going to be uh, not like my other one. It's going to be because uh, it's um, it's all written. 
and so I'm gonna I'm gonna record it as written and so it's going to be more like my Marilyn Manson deep dives where it's just um, a voiceover and then I'll I'll edit a collage of pictures and videos over it to give it a kind of visual aid um, and that 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 is a strategy that works really well for that kind of analytical video so I'm gonna be uh, doing it again in this one and so that should be coming out later this month so I'm gonna have two big videos coming out in the month of November in addition to a vlog every day in November um, the third thing that I've been working on and uh, this uh, might excite you because I've been teasing this video for way longer than the Cinemassacre Truth video. Um, I have actually been teasing this video pretty much ever since I came out with that last fascism video. And it's um, a video about Italy. Because um, I'm... What, I, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to create a foundation for exploring the topic of fascism through exploring uh, Italian history. Um, which isn't entirely necessary, by the way, because um, really the foundations of fascism are in the whole um, like Enlightenment movement, and so I could just start it at like the French Revolution. And also a lot of it is in France. A lot of the intellectual tradition of fascism came out of France in the 19th century, and so um, it's really not entirely necessary to look at all of Italian history. However, um, I'm someone who really cares about history and wants to learn a lot about it, so this just gives me an excuse to look at, look deeply at one particular area of history. And so, um, yeah, and, and so the, the Italy thing, it's going to be a series. It's not just going to be one video. And it's going to be kind of a long series. I, I wanted to make it short. You know, I wanted, I had this idea in mind, you know, I want to just get through this so I can get to the fascism stuff. But, hey, there's no point in doing it if I'm not going to do it well. If I'm not going to do it right. And so, I got to the end of the first episode. I wrote the whole first episode and I'm only at 494 BC so uh, yeah uh, it's gonna be long <laughs> I, I don't know any other way to make make it other than long because that's just how I do everything I, I don't know brevity um, but hey the plus side is I finished it at least I got to the end of that uh, that first episode and so that that's not gonna be a this year project uh, I'm gonna start work on it as soon as I'm done with my fascism video that I'm making this month but uh, it's not gonna come out in December it's gonna come out sometime next year because it's gonna be a lot more there's gonna be a lot more effort put into it than my usual stuff it's it's not gonna be like uh, a usual forever dirt video it's gonna be a little bit more um, interesting than that because it's it's um, well, you'll see that the 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 writing kind of requires that. Um, so that those are all the big things that I've been working on. It's all you know. St I've been finishing stuff, you know, finishing writing on two big videos, finishing editing on one big video. So I've got a lot of stuff going. Um, but you might be wondering, what's this vlog every day in November thing? Um, well, you might remember, uh, if you were a nerd fighter, you might remember Hank Green doing vlog every day in April, a long time ago. Veta. And um, I think some other people did it. I, it. Maybe even Alex Day did it. I can't even remember. I, I seem to recall Alex Day saying something about doing vlog every day in April. Um... But then the, the guys who I'm most familiar with doing something like this were uh, BandGeek8408 and Coded Lock Films, who did vlog every day in September. Veds. 
Um, and so I'm doing Vedin vlog every day in November because it happens to be the start of November. And so, yeah, Vedin, that's what I'm doing. Um, and so why am, why am I doing it? Um, oh, I forgot to put on my hat. Oh, I wanted to wear a funny hat in this video. Um, I actually have another hat that I'll wear tomorrow if I remember it. Ooh, what kind of hat could this be? Let me know if you know what kind of hat this is. Um, but anyway, uh, I didn't vlog every day in November. Why am I doing it? Well, uh, the thing is I don't make as many videos as I want to make. And the reason is because I get stuck in this kind of mindset where it's like, oh, I, if I'm making something, it better be worth making. Because I put effort into making them. And it like just it just takes a long time to make videos for me. Um, and so, you know, one, one way that I tried to get around this was I did the Rab Roundup series. I did that in uh, uh, earlier this year. And uh, I did that for five weeks, actually technically six weeks, but I never uploaded the last episode of Rab Roundup because I was just kind of disappointed by it. You know, it's one of those things where I work on it for several days, I edit the thing well, and then at the end I don't have a great product. And so, it doesn't really motivate me. And so, what I want to do is have a way to make more videos without having the videos have to be good. And that means that I have to have very little effort in them. Because the more effort I put into them, then the more return I expect to get from that effort. And if I'm not getting that kind of return, then it's not worth putting in the effort. And then I don't get very much practice, which means I don't really get better very quickly. And so I want to get more practice. I want to get better at making videos. And that requires not just making big projects, it requires making more projects, which it means little ones like this. Now, uh, I do have some experience doing something like this because I used to be on TikTok and you're, um, probably never going to see my TikTok videos because uh, um, I despised TikTok. I was on it for a little while, but I never liked it. I thought it was the most ridiculous, horrendous app um, ever. But um, that's aside the point. I've done this before and I know it works because I, I used to make upwards of eight videos per day on TikTok and I never ran out of stuff to talk about. And it's easy, and so I know I know I can commit to this for a month. Um, just there's there's no no doubt in my mind that I can do this, and I'm not good at commitments, you know, like deadlines. Oh, forget it. I I don't set deadlines. I'll, I'll often I'll often pretend that I know when things are coming out. I'll often be like like I did that in this video. I was like. You should see that this month, close to the beginning of the month, and then the next one close to the end of the month. Really, I mean, it's like in The Wolf of Wall Street, Matthew McConaughey is like, the truth is, nobody knows if this shit's gonna go up or down or sideways or diagonal. It's all bullshit, <laughs> you know. Nobody knows the stock market. Even even the, the best stockbrokers have no fucking clue what they're talking about. And uh, same with me. I, don't, I have no idea when anything's coming out, really. But I like to pretend that I do. And, um... But I won't make a deadline for it. Uh, because I never meet my deadlines. Deadlines, deadlines are the surest way to, uh, to not make progress, if you're me. Um, but, this, uh, this is different. Because this is, there's, there's like no editing in this, so, you know, no effort, no editing, just fun. It's fun. We're having fun here, right? You know, I mean, or what, 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 you're not excited for this? Is that what I'm hearing from you? You're not excited to see vlog every day in November? Well, I'm telling you, you better be excited because uh, it's coming your way. 30 videos. 30 days. Actually, 
hopefully we'll have 32 videos in 30 days if I can get both of those. We're at least having 31. But I'm hoping we'll have 32 videos in 30 days. That's 30 vlog every day in November's plus Cinemassacre Truth plus fascism. I'm excited. You better be excited. Signing off.